I'm Sir Tap Tap, and welcome back to the Face Punch Prototype Pack. Um, we're gonna take a look at approval. There's approval old in this, so let's take a look here. Full screen window that. Oh, that's weird. Unity never, usually never, leaves that title bar up there. Yeah, whatever. It's not a big deal. Hello, sir. You don't know me, but I have heard a lot about you. Please consider approving my game. You know what's funny? I get a lot of emails addressed to sir. And I never know if it's because Sir is the first part of my name, or if they're actually sending Sir. It's probably, you know, because it's the first part of my name. The controls are very simple. Just click on a button to simulate the action. If you click on the bug button, it'll pretend to crash. But lol, please don't reject it because of that. Yours sincerely, test test thon. Okay. Game information, high scores. So this is the more approvally... Oh, I'm not sure this... Oh! Dearest approver, you'll be thrilled. Wait, can I play this then? This is like a game board. Oh! Click on a button, you dummy. Failure. Oops. Um. Success. Found bug. Ooh. Bugged. Huh? Ooh. It's still all glitchy. Okay. We're gonna call it a failure. Wait, no. We're gonna call it success, because it's... I think this is the test. Yeah, the game template. Okay. We're gonna call it a success. What is this? I love that we're a hot dog with, like, bugs surrounding us. Uh, term in us. It's like, I saw her standing there. Oh my god, it is I saw her standing there. Oh wait, no, it's not. I, I guess you gotta, you gotta hide the pink and the, the red to safety. Sundown shootout. I made this game six weeks holiday. My mom said I was grounded and I couldn't go outside, so I was bored, lol. You need to wait until you hear the bell, and then you shoot the bad guy. It's like the old cowboy films where they wait until the bell dings and they shoot each other, lol. It's my first game ever, and I did all the drawings myself and scanned them on a scanner and put them in the game. So if you want to approve it, okay, but I understand if you don't want it. It's a bit crap, lol. If you do approve it, I will like you, cause I, because it's... I'm saving up for a new hard drive, and if the game goes for sale, maybe I'll be able to afford it. Alright, I don't know why I gave him, like, valley girl voice at the end there. This seems like a high-quality mobile app, my friends. Where's the bell? Bell, please sound. Okay, I hate this. Oh, you're supposed to aim. How do I approve? Or reject? Oh, I don't care. Okay, I can't leave. Okay, yeah, the version we played yesterday, or like, you know, the last video was a lot better. Whoop! Ah! It's hard. Whatever. Let's just take a look at the other ones. No! No! F -f -f -ah. Come on, I'll, I'll get him this time. I'll get him. That'll make this worth it. That'll make this whole ordeal worth it. I have no concept where my mouse, my mouse is. Okay, come on. Come on! Do the thing! It's such a high quality game. I'm so amazed by this. Frickin'! Yeah, whatever. I use the arrow keys, I forgot. Oh, I actually can't go to the other ones. I... Oh well, I don't care. Yeah, that's the original approval. Um, I guess we're gonna go to arcade. So that's yeah. Open up your own arcade for folks to visit and play user-made games on custom arcade cabinets, or set up a lounge area to play some pool and relax. Also comes with the Budget Boy development kit. We can play some games outside if the arcade isn't working. Okay. Wait. BBK. Is that the Budget Boy development kit? I'm scared. I'm gonna, allow, I'm gonna allow that access. What is this? What is this? I got the key. Press A. No, oh, it means spacebar. Oh, it means A if you. Oh, dead. Okay, this is another one with controller support. 
I was, I was getting used to not having that. All right, so we can jump over the edges of the maze. Oh, there's a cooldown. Oh wait, I was supposed to go in that hole. I, I thought I died. But yeah, that was where you're supposed to go. Okay. Well, that was that was a harrowingly difficult level. Once again, incredibly difficult. Okay. Amazing prepackaged asset. Oh, there's different. Is this like an actual development thingy? What is this? Shooter 3D. Whoa, it's 3D. This is this is the graphics of the future, my friends. Look at all of these graphics. I count at least seven graphics. Look at that. It's seven graphics. Oh man. I don't know if you're allowed to have this many graphics at once on one home computer video game for TV. Uh, package Shooter 3D. What was that? Smashbox. Oh yeah, it's... it's you, you know what it is. Test game! Can I say to start? Up, oh, dead. <laughs> Why is it the right stick? <laughs> Even for a test game, why would it be the right stick? Okay. We get the point. Ultimate soldier! Oh, yeah. oh my gosh! Everyone's drunk! We're a bunch of drunk- it's a bunch of drunk Wolfenstein guards! Now we gotta knife them. Get, get over here. I'm gonna knife you. Get, get- there you go. Can I get the knife- or the gun? It's so drunk! I love it. Oh. Wait, I'm, I, it's so much less drunk with the gun. I don't- I don't like the gun. Uh-oh. I think I'm supposed to have the gun. <laughs> you just walk through the thing! Gimme. Can I disable this? Gosh, it's so drunk. It's so drunk! Ah, oh. <laughs> Swat Chronicles. Oh wait, those, I think those are my friends. That's why they weren't attacking. I, I don't think I was supposed to kill those guys. It's fine. They. It's fine. That that would explain why they they were so bad at hurting me. Up oh, dead. All right, let's not kill our friends this time. So this is like the Swat car. I I, I understand now. <laughs> this is so drunk. Recruit restock. What? What? <laughs> We're such good police. Look at how policey we are. Hello, friend. Can I, can I save you? No? Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's enough of that one. All right, let's play arcade. Uh, the arcade. What? It's it really is online. Oh man, we got four thousand FPS. So good. I don't think. I don't think we actually joined a server. I don't think. Create room. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, let's try that again. Let's, let's have some fantastic graphics. Create room. Um, test, test. Save interiors. Create room. Oh, I don't. I didn't. You have. To, you really have to create an interior. Okay, this one's complicated. I don't know. Wait, games. Let's just go straight to the game. Oh, it's just those. Okay, so was it like an arcade where you have the games on the that were on that development kit? I guess it could be neat if you can make your own games, like like a really online WarioWare DIY. But let's go to Beep. This was that car game that we saw in the first video. Um, Beep! It's me! Um, sorry, I wasn't expecting to see me. Feedbacks really helps better games. Good or bad, please eat some. Join server. Um... I forget if this was an abandoned or an idea they're still working on. I think it was one they were still working on. Oh man. Why am I drunk? 
<laughs> I'm so drunk in all of these games, but why? Am I out of... Am I out of things? This text chat... Wait, what? I like this GTA map here. Is this... Do you think VAC is enabled in this game? Looks like someone is hacking already. Oh, okay. It, it, the control's much better if you use the uh, keyboard mouse. Oh, I'm gonna kill this guy! Oh, I failed. Okay, I gotta kill this guy. So these... The prototypes really are online, then. I guess nobody dared to make a room for the arcade game. That looked pretty complicated. Starting and... I guess we gotta smash people? Yes! Oh. Wait, wait, is there a thing? I gotta get the bomb. I gotta get this bomb. Available to... to press Y to join? Press Y to join. Okay. Wait for players. Oh, it's like... Oh, wow. So it is like, it's sort of like GTA, but you like, join people to start things. Alright, we're, we're gonna play a bomb mission, I guess. It's gonna need the lobby, you just kind of move around and do your thing. Do we not really have... I guess that's all you're getting sound-wise, sorry. You know, prototypes. Oh, come on, start already. There's nobody else that's gonna join. I mean, there's a few other people, but... They don't seem intent on joining. Let's do this V-Core, my friend. Let's do this. Come on, 15 seconds. Hey, 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 friend, friend, Mr. Mr. Oh, hey, he's got face punch decals. I just noticed. Let's do this. Four seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. I'm going to bomb the hell out of this thing. Not a bomb. Wait, what? Picking player. I have the bomb. I have the bomb. G g oh no. Is this. What do I do? Do I have to not get bombed? Fastest player. Phantom Spaceman. I have the bomb, guys. I'm gonna. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but it's gonna be great. I kind of. I actually kind of dig the art style of the buildings. The nice. It's a nice low poly look. The cars. I think you're supposed to, like, customize the cars or something. Oop. I have so many bombs. Do I, do I, am I supposed to get near the other people and bomb them or something? What happens? Oh, it was hot potato! It was hot potato, wasn't it? Okay. That would be really hard to play unless I can pass it off to someone other than that other dude. Yeah, I guess it's just hot potato and... Wait, what does this guy's thing say? Netflix and chill. Sigh. Alright, that, that's actually kind of a cute idea. <laughs> finally, after years of solid trees in GTA, finally a game lets us destroy the trees. Oh, but not, not the lamppost, though. It's actually kind of backwards from GTA, where the lampposts are, uh, you know, made out of tissue paper, but the trees are made out of just, like, solid kryptonite or something. Up. Oh. And these things are too. All right, that's enough of beep. Biscuit. Wait, let's read about biscuit. That's not reading about biscuit. Okay. Where is biscuit? Is biscuit in a list space usurper? I don't think biscuit is in this. All right, let's just play biscuit. Doesn't matter. Biscuit prototype. Start new game. Start. Start. Start that new game. Um. All right. Let's let's not actually play biscuit. I'll, I'll try one more time without doing this. No. Nope. Okay. We're we're not we're not gonna eat any biscuits today. Deuce was on the list. So let's read about Deuce. I think it was on the list. Deuce! Single player, local multiplayer, an arcade tennis game that took influence from fighting game conventions like life bars and special meters to start and spice it up a bit. Well, it's not really this year, but you can still play two player local matches and on players against a shaky AI that varies between characters. Okay. Let's fight that shaky AI then. Wait, it has a readme! Let's read this readme. 
thanks for testing Deuce. We really hope you enjoy playing. Here are some instructions on how to play the game. I, w I wonder if this, like, people, like, I guess actual testers must have played it. Clicking quick match. Yeah, I don't, uh, uh, my care has already run out. Let's just, let's just play Deuce. I just got the name. It's a tennis thing. Uh, quick match. Uh, oh, I, I, I could be a robot or an owl or Elvis the Yeti or creepy weird cowboy and uh, well, no, we're just gonna be Mavis. Wait, oops, I just picked Mavis versus Mavis. Uh, Cloud City, sure. This deal's getting worse all the time. I kind of look like a double fine character. My face, anyway. Wait, how do I? So many of these games use the direct, the arrow keys instead of WASD. I mean, you know, prototypes. But it's looking weird. Ooh. Okay. Space and WASD. Ah, oh, come on. So it's tennis with a health bar, and I guess special moves. How do I special move? I want to do all of the specials. I want to shoot lasers from my face. I was not shooting lasers from my face. The art's pretty alright for, you know, something they never ended up finishing. They've been they've been busy with all of this stuff. Man, I, I, I kind of figured, honestly, they just kind of were working on Rust all the time. Because, you know, it's making enough money to kind of justify that. But, um, there we go. We actually, we actually scored a point. Are you doing the throw? Okay. Yeah, I haven't seriously played a tennis video game since, um, Mario Tennis on N64. I have honestly not really... I'm not really, like, I like tennis, real tennis. It's like one sport I was actually pretty decent at in high school, but I don't, there's no place to play it around locally. I, I kind of wish there was. It's the one thing that's like, um, I don't, it's just kind of the right mix of being just, you know, it's just enough, you know, getting moving around, but not really too, um, it, it doesn't seem to have that, like, crazy high skill barrier that, you know, and, and it's, a, it's a one on one, which I think helps. I find it a lot more interesting than, you know, playing football against a lot of people that, like, yeah, high school football, it's like, half of the people are, like, super mega disinterested, and I was kind of, you know, I was towards that end of things. Um, there's a few people that are pretty okay, and then there's, like, four or five people across both teams that are, like, really into it and do, like, all of the work. And uh, it's just kind of a mess. But you know, it's an obligatory. Like, I, I really want to do just do some special moves. Does this have controller? A big part of why I like controllers is because it's much more obvious what um, what what commands are. Because you know, there's there's a lot more conventions on R with keyboard controls. Resolution, full screen, graphics quality. Yeah, more modes. Yeah, I think that was just. Now shows a keyboard overlay. It has it has a little in in game updater. But it was last day updated February, I guess. I I only like the the universally correct time format, which is year, month, day. Th th there's no other proper way to show that. It's uh it it, it allows you to sort just by uh yeah you know, just alphabetical sorting is also date sort setting. Face wound. That sounds familiar, doesn't it? Facewound.exe, is this? Face Punch Studios introduces Face Wound. Okay. New game! I sure have a head on me. Are these zombies? Yes, they are. Click plutonium to fill this bar. It's full, you will get ammo and credits to spend on weapons and ammo. Okay. How do I get that stuff? Oh, wait, what?
Oh, you can climb on... Weird. This reminds me of, um... What was that thing called? There was this free, like, flash game thing that came with, um... Um... That came with Half-Life 2. If you got it, like... I got the deluxe pack. I'm not sure if it came with all of them or whatever. But it's this little Half-Life 2D game. I think it's still free on Steam, but it's so hard to find because Steam doesn't really do much to show you free games. There's one heck of a puke there. Um... Ow. Psst. Their heads explode. It's always nice. Stupid bird! Oh, they're still alive. Okay. It was just basically Half-Life except 2D. It was actually pretty fun. Um, I should find that sometime. I don't think many people ever actually played it, because I don't remember anybody ever talking about it. And I think it was made, like, without- I think it was like a fan sort of thing that they sort of decided to publish along with the game, and- because it, it- the plot seemed like it was sort of made- what? Well, yeah, that's enough of that one anyway. But yeah. What's this balloon gun sighted? Oh god. Can I break these? Okay. Oh hey, our plutonium stays. Well, let's fill our plutonium meter and see what- oh god. Okay, nothing respawns. I'm not sure if I want to wait for the thing anymore. Hmm. Yeah, this reminds me a lot of that. That was actually, like I said, that was pretty fun. But I've never heard anybody talk about it. I don't- I don't know. And I had a heck of a time finding it. Steam is really bad about letting you, like... At least, I think they finally fixed this. But, like, for a while, if you uninstalled a free game from your Steam library, it was just gone. And, and you had to find it again in the store. And free games are not easy to find. You got a credit. I should buy a key to buy new weapons and ammo. Okay. Level 3 weapons, level 2 weapons, level 1 weapons. Uh, chainsaw. I have one credit. All of that was one credit. Those... Those are so intense grenades, holy crap. Wow, okay. That That is face wound. Face wound edit. Jump to, jump to graveyard map? Oh, thank you. Oh. I love when there's like shortcuts to stuff. I've actually had a couple devs send me stuff where like, um, like maybe there's a hidden, like a, a code, or like they'll give you a, like a partially complete save file. So you can sort of skip to check out some later stuff. I kind of wish, there's actually a few games that integrate that, stuff like that into the main game. Like Euphoria just lets you unlock all of the levels at once. Um, so does, um, oh crap, what is the name of that game? It was really good. Um, It was that thing where you like, um... Crap, I'll have to look at... What, what, what is, what is that? Oh, you have to shoot his head, okay. <laughs> that is pretty neat, actually, the, the giant guy on stilts. I like that one. Oh, dead. Alright, let's go to the war zone. Wait, that was the war, yeah, war zone. Let's go to the graveyard, I guess? This is... I mean, the last one looked more like a graveyard. I guess you start in the last, like, halfway in the last map. Oh yeah, Softbody! That was the game, Softbody. I can't believe I forgot that. I, I need to go back and play that, the full version of that. Uh, that was really great, but I played, you know, most of the... I played the preview version. Oh, we got giant spiders. A lot of giant spiders. This isn't too bad, but it's, you know... I don't know. We, we probably all played a lot of this. We got... Oh, I died right as I got the capture point, I guess. Oh, whatever. That is face wound. Um, let's look at one more. Music box. Readme.md. What is an M? Oh, is that a edit with notepad plus plus? Is that a Linux or like a Mac extension? Music box. Description. There's a quick prototype of a 3D nose-based... Uh, audio synthesis app designed mainly for use in room scale VR. Oh, cool. But I don't, I don't have that. Sorry. 
my first VR system will be PlayStation VR. I'll try to get some VR videos out um, if I can, like, I'm still not entirely sure how recording that kind of stuff works, but I'll try to figure it out for you. Uh, there's some really cool stuff coming to PlayStation VR, so I'm pretty excited for that. Press delete when I'll notice selected to delete it to a button. I don't think I'm gonna figure this one out too well. Oh, it's like the um, it's like Little Big Planet's uh, music editor, or it's more like their logic editor actually. Okay. How do I? How do I affect you? Value nine. How do I affect the thing? Whoa. Pressing notes? No. See, yeah, it feels. Oh. Okay. It's gonna sound great. It's gonna sound great. Just, just you, just you. Wait for this masterpiece. Let's, let's hear it. Button. Okay. Can we, can we hear my masterpiece? I want to hear my masterpiece. Okay, I get the vague concept of what's going on here, but... Note A, note B. Button. Very obviously prototypey. Um, seems like it could have been a cool idea. Um, I'm sure I would be no less confused in the real app, because, you know, music stuff and me I mean, I can listen to music. You ask me to play music, uh, oh, you don't want to do that. That's that's going to be bad for your ears. All right, so yeah, I guess this is round two of the Face Punch prototypes. I'll take a peek at some of the other ones, too.